we go then. Hello guys, welcome back to Cassette Confessions. In this video we're looking at Happy Holidays from 1999, the second VHS involving Series 5 of Tom and Sanchez and Friends. Um, really good one. This is actually uh, an interesting one. It's very... It's all for this summer, very much. Well, it was released in the summer, it was in the summer of, summer of 1999. And we've got six episodes from, the from Series 5 and also three songs as well, interestingly. Um, so, not much to say about about uh, anything, anything else important, really. I've sort of talked about that beforehand, actually, in the previous one. People know what that is. So let's go around to it. So I've got six episodes to go through for Series 5, so I'll be pretty interesting. Yes. Um, so Top and Hat's so Top, oh, so Top Holiday. A funny one, that is. But if, it's a fact, fact controller centric story, and yeah. Um, I do enjoy it. It's very, it's very brilliant, actually. There's a, I think there's a couple, actually. There's maybe two or three that focus on the Fat Controller very much in this series. You know, he sort of becomes... He, he sort of, I think this is the point where he becomes a prominent character, like he has his own solo episodes very much. I think that he didn't have very much any in, 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 in the first four series, so it's interesting to flesh him out and stuff like that. He came into some crazy antics, of course, with his family and stuff, mainly with his wife, really. So in this case, of course, he... So he, his wife, Lady Hat, and to grandchildren, just basically go around the island, of course, and all stuff, um, all antics and chaos sort of ensues. He nearly gets caught up in by a helicopter tiger moth, believe it or not, only he gets run down by one, interestingly, and also gets stuck in a boggy mess in a canal, very much, and all sorts all sort of stuff. It's brilliant, it is. it's a funny one. Again, very, it's that comedy type of style, nothing much to it, it's just like an adventurous comedy romp it is. Walks on Sir Top and Hat and his family. Fair enough, it's fair enough. Well, it's a nice way to open up it is, so that's pretty good. Um, next up we've got is a Bear View for Gordon. Instant classic this is, a really famous one, of course. Heavily inspired from the French, I think it's an incident in France from the 1880s. Of I think people will probably know what it is, and people will probably link down below what the actual event is. I've got the name of it because, again, for something like French history, sort of like a bit, yeah, it's a bit sort of unsure about it, really. Like, or not memorable about it. But it's a good one, very action packed, it is. Um, direction wise, and also stunt wise as well, it's fantastic. Great direction by Mitten, fantastic. And David Mayment, actually, I think he did co wrote that one. He did. Well, he brought the idea off, and obviously, Helic writing credit for it. So yes, interesting, in, introduce, introducing a few bits and pieces. Um, next up we've got is By George, Return of, Return of George the Steamroller. I covered it, I think I've mentioned briefly him before in Steamroller when I did Tom, Thomas and Stepney. And yeah, it's a really good one, fantastic. Lots of interesting, lot of crashes of course, indeed. Um, you know, um, what was it? You know, the concrete crossing, you know, the tarmac crossing that has no rails on it, George just deliberately did it. Of course, and Thomas ends up in a barn, very much really, really good stuff, very good direction. And also in the truck yard, of course, when uh, Gordon crashes into one of Duck's, Duck's well, the last truck of Duck's, Duck's train, of course, and, you know, and, and at the end of a junction, of course, of the main line. Really good stuff, brilliant direction. I don't know how they actually managed to achieve that, like, of it, of actually, did they just throw the prop in the air or something, like, literally high in the air, and just went, psh, like that. Did the production crew did that? I don't know, really. But it's, a, again, really good. Really good stunt, interesting camera work and a little bit of model stunt work in there. It's pretty good. Really good stuff. So that's, a, that's an interesting favourite, that is. Um, for many people, missing a bear view for Gordon, actually, probably the highlights very much for people. It's a really good one. And then we've got Toby and the Flood. A really um, interesting. They this sort of my fe my feature on a on a on a number of VHS, you know, because of its per it's very perilous, action packed, dangerous, and and you know, say disaster movie esque like same thing as like Rustin Boulder and sort of like, you know, like it builds up the stakes. It looks like you now this engine and his crew are in danger, of course, but in this case they're on a floating bridge going, you know, heading downstream in, in heavy rain. Muddy water, like polluted water or something like that, like at the Thames. Weirdly, the water, that water effect, is, it's a bit strange. Really, like it's heavily, it's like it's heavily polluted, like it's full of feces and shit and everything else. Like maybe I don't know, or something else. Like like someone's put tomato soup in it or something. I don't know. It's just like very bizarre, very bizarre, interesting thing, really. 
but it's really good. You know, uh, they, of course, I need to go back to that. They basically go down, go down this this river, and down below is like a very high, very high waterfall. And then obviously, say, obviously, it's not in the sun, of course. It's like, you know, danger and all that sort of stuff. You really like, you know, Delhi Falls, sharp rocks down below, like just heavy drop or something. It's like, you know, in the Great Line as well. Like if we go over there, we are doomed and that sort of stuff. That's really. You know, it just builds up that really good stuff. It's a very, it's a Toby Percy Harold centric story, very much. Just set, it's then free, sort of like around a, in that in a sort of village, really. You know, involves a big dam and stuff. It's brilliant, really good stuff. Uh, people are probably thinking, you know, it's a bit far fetched, really, if you look at it. And it's like, hmm, it can be sometimes if you look back on it. It's like, it's, but for, for, it's very, but for kids, it's like, it's interesting, it's something new, it is. New territory, it is. And then we've got um, Oliver's Find, which is another, well, another, well, there's only two Oliver-centric episodes to this in this series. Uh, the only one I've, I remember fondly is this one. You know, all, of course, Oliver just goes, you know, co well, has a problem with trucks, of course, and he basically just nearly destroys them or nearly, just, you know, basically handles them in a very rough, in a rough manner, of course. And obviously, he ends up doing the mail train, of course, and... One thing's led to another, and he finds his abandoned station and a manor house. Really, uh, I think the, I think so. The fat control basically just you know, thinks you know, he thinks you know, let me do something, and I think they've turned into a, like a tea room or something. Or I don't, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Or a holiday home or something like that. I think summer home. I think summer home. I think. Well, it's pretty. It's an interesting idea, thing, really. Again, it goes that sort of uh, adventurous. Uh, semi whimsical type thing, really. I don't know. Maybe not whimsical. Well, it has a bit of whimsical stuff, like when he go, when he go, does the mail train stuff like that. There's a bit of whimsical element with the, with the music and stuff. Uh, but it's against like Toby's discovery in a way. You know, the adventure thing, of course, like finding a castle in the mine, of course. But you know, that's all. Sort of like it's basically a little bit, little bit that's just start uh, included on the end, really. Other than that, it's just like you know, it's just it's good. It's good actually. I do enjoy reading it, of course. No, well, not read it. No, not read it. Watch this. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, watching it. Mm -hmm. So it's decent. Um, then we've got make someone happy. The last six. Well, the sixth and last story in this VHS. Um, this is another one that's sort of like a human focus one of Mrs. Kindly. Mrs. Kindly has been has been mentioned or seen the show since series one. Strangely, it's a bit bizarre that she actually you know. She never appeared in the series two, three, and four, but she appears in this one, strangely. Like, you know, she just comes out of nowhere and says that she, her sister hasn't seen her or something like that in the two role. They took a tour around, a tour around the island, of course, around Harold and James, of course. It's mainly having a, it's a bit of a focus on James in some, in some regards. You know, they, he's just miserable and stuff like that, you know, just hard work and stuff, that sort of thing. And they're basically just, you know, like he just sort of gives a little bit, little bit of a tour for her. In a you know in a private coach and everything else just to make it happy and also the um, fun fair scene as well the fun fair scene you know the fun fair sequence is really good actually very very nice good use of music it's like the Michael Donald and Julian Campbell use like a um, a carnival sort of version or fun fair type music of the Thomas Tantrum theme which is actually fantastic really you know it's very you know, when you look back at it, you think, oh yeah, it's the actual music, but it's done in a different variation. Really good stuff, actually. It's like, really, really good. It's like very pompous, very, you know, very, again, sort of charming it is, really. And of course, the fact that on a, on a, on a uh, merry-go-round. Interesting, the like, he actually got, I think it's one of, was it, was it a merry-go-round? I think, I think so, actually. Was it? No. Maybe. Briefed it. I know Mrs. Kang was I know Mrs. Kang was on the ground. Yes. Um yeah, that's really about the stories really. So great great stories, brilliant really stuff. It's more com it's more light hearted comedy stuff really on this one. Like it's the more so it's more of the light hearted stuff. Really you, you get to see. You have a good mix of dark dark and action packed stories and you have also have lo lovely again sort of like again comedy dra comedy drama well, not more of the comedy re comedy really. Really focus on human characters very much, you know, to the spot like our last Sir Tom Hat and Mrs. Kindly. And then we ended up end up with three songs at the end. Oh right. They're not bad they are. I mean songs really focus on the show on the show is like well, it's a bit pointless really, but it come it's more they're more included on some stuff really. I mean 
there's there really. Percy Seaside, seaside Trip, um, How the Helicopter, and what's the other one? I've got the other one now, oh, bollocks. Well, the last two I, met, I remember, of course, Howling Helicopter is actually a really good song, actually, to end off. I mean, that's the last one that I was included with. Plus, Seaside, Seaside Trip's all right as well. You know, it's just like, all right, really. Not bad. Come for the Ride, I think that was it. I think that's the last one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Come for the Ride. Um, decent, really decent. It has a bit of sort of like rock and roll S type stuff, really. Come for, Come for the Ride especially does. Yeah. Hmm. All right. That's about it, really, for Happy Holidays. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, thank you very much. I've been talking about, again, Happy Holidays from 1999. We're actually really getting close to, a, to, the, to the end, really, at some point, really. Uh, not far off, really. Still got quite a few more to go through, but... You know, looking at the list now, it's like, you know, we're, sl we're, we're, so, we're slowly getting there. Slowly getting to the end, really. At some point, you know, give or take maybe more than 10 videos, maybe. And... Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching as always. See you in the next video, and goodbye.